Hey, Brian here at Pure Vita Fitness. Uh, we have a tip of the week add-on to last time I saw you, which was our warm-up with the dowel. So basically, we're going to take the foam roll that we talked about last time, do your dowel work, and then we're going to add on with a little bit more functional movement. Today we're just going to add two. First one's a mobility squat. We're going to take our feet, hip width apart, a little bit wider then. Grab the front of your toes, tuck your elbows inside your knees, drop your butt as low as you can, ideally try to smash your hamstring and your calf, you cannot get there yet, that's fine, you get there. Stay with your hands, grasp on your toes, lift your butt as high as you can, lock out your knees, come back down, add a little bit more of a challenge, try to keep your chest upright. As you do this, you create a more of a posterior chain stretch, as you tighten up that back, it's gonna pull like an overband. If you're really real tight, you're gonna get more out of it. 10 of those, roughly. After that, just stand up, put your feet hip width apart, bend your knees, let everything go limp up top, Lean to the outside of one side of your toe, the foot, come all the way around to the other side, back up top, continue that five times one way, five times the other way, call that a lumbar circle to open up the lumbar or the vertebrae. So again, 10 reps of the mobility squat, five reps each way for a total of 10 reps on the lumbar circles, and you can add that on to your two areas of foam rolling you picked for the day, your four areas on the dowel work, and then you have two new areas of functional work to add in, and then you can jump on your cardio equipment if you'd like to, and then next week we'll hit you back with another add-on to that warm-up and continue to link that thing out. Ryan here at Pure Beauty Fitness, that is your tip of the day.